Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for a Dad, where you'll learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are going to cook potatoes in a crock pot or a slow cooker. So, this is the easiest recipe. We've been making it for years, and I thought I've shared this recipe with you before, but I checked and I haven't, so today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to make potatoes. All you need is potatoes, and water. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to clean your potatoes. Just scrub them under running water and I already did that. Then next you're going to want to cut out any unwanted blemishes. I had a few. Just cut them out ahead of time. You can clean your potatoes like ahead of time the day before. Put them in a bag in the fridge but you're going to want to wait till the last minute to cut out any blemishes. So next we're going to go ahead and add the potatoes and the water to a crock pot. You want to choose potatoes that are similar in size. You can use different kind of potatoes. I have red and yellow and you could use russet. You want to choose potatoes that are about the same size so they'll cook and get done at the same time. If you do have smaller ones you could just take those out early so you want to check the smaller ones early. Sometimes I add some yams or sweet potatoes and those do cook faster than potatoes, so you'll also take those out early. So sometimes we have a variety, whatever we have on hand. So go ahead and put the potatoes in the crock pot, and then we're gonna add water according to the chart. So you're gonna add a half a cup of water if the crock pot is up to three quarters full. If it's all the way full, you'll do three quarters of a cup, and this is not all the way full, so I'm just gonna do half a cup. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set the timer. So you're gonna cook the potatoes on high. If it's half to three quarters full, you'll cook it for two and a half to three hours. So if you only have one layer, you'll cook it for two to two and a half hours. And if it's totally full, you'll cook it for three and a half hours. The cooking time does vary depending on your cooker and how big the potatoes are, so keep an eye on them. I'll probably check them a little bit early. You can poke them in with a knife. When they're done, they're gonna be so smooth and buttery soft, so you'll know when they're done. Small potatoes take about 20 to 30 minutes less. You don't wanna poke holes in the potatoes or you'll have dark streaks. You also don't want to cook them on low because that will make the potatoes dark. So you do have about one to one and a half hours before the flesh begins to darken. So in case you don't get back in time, you have some extra time, so don't worry about it. So I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so it's been a little over three hours, but my crock pot turned off at three hours. So let's check them and see if they're done. Just take a knife. It's nice and smooth. Wow, like butter. So we'll go ahead and take these out. Ready to try one. So I have some vegan cheese. I made that in another lesson, check it out. And I'm gonna put some butter. One way my husband likes to make these potatoes, whoo, that's hot. I have to take a break. So the potatoes are super hot. You might wanna let them cool a bit before you cut them open. Anyways, they are done. And I was gonna say my husband um, when he makes them, what he does, he gets a little dish of butter, melts it, puts some kosher salt, stirs it up, and before he puts the potatoes in, he spreads it all over the potatoes, puts them in, cooks them, adds some water, cooks them, and they get a little crispy, salty coating on them, a little buttery, and it's really good, if you want to try his way. But he actually makes these potatoes way more than I do. He's crazy about potatoes, so um, he loves, like, putting toppings on this potatoes. But anyways, I gotta try this. So I'm gonna put a little butter, spread that out. Okay, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. And you could easily make a potato bar, set out toppings. We like to put chili cheese, broccoli, lentils, all kinds of 
nice delicious topping tofu sour cream and chives. I'm going to try some of the vegan cheese. Here we go. Mmm. The potatoes are perfectly cooked. You gotta try them. The easiest way to make potatoes. Let me know how yours turn out and I'll see you in the next lesson. So good.